so uh, continuing with uh, the next part of the course now what we do is i will explain to you how to develop a small commercial web application and how to host it on the internet and how to make profit out of it and how to make it valuable asset your perf your professional valuable asset now for this purpose there are nine steps which will be followed for making a small business online and those nine steps i will divide into three modules of course the details will follow so in this this module i will cover steps 1 2 and step number 3 so let's now go into more details about those steps before i go into the detail let's look at some very interesting facts now as i said in 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 an earlier module that your audience is global don't limit yourself to a certain part of the world now if you look at united states we see that 87% of the adults they use the web for finding different resources maybe if they want to dine out they would use the web to find which place to go or if they would like to have pizza at home where to order that pizza so there is a tremendous market out there and of course that market needs to be tapped also and but the problem is that if you are not online then you are losing that big market you are losing that potential from that market so if you are missing that opportunity then you are missing many things and if you have an online presence then of course it add credibility to your ground presence your physical presence it establishes the credibility you can connect with the customers and you are more accessible the users can communicate with you they can leave your their feedback they can leave their reviews you can have maps for which the users can use to locate you and visit you and of course if you are not online then you are missing this huge opportunity so as stephen hawking said that this internet is like a huge uh, network of neurons and those neurons connect together and they collectively achieve something this is the same case for the web also for the same case for the servers on the web that they work collectively now step number 1 get a domain name so what is a domain the domain here is your presence on the internet the domain is the name by which you will be identified on the internet say for example if you are selling excellent pizza or you have a contract with a company to deliver the pizza so your domain name could be super excellent pizza so that is the domain name then is the domain extension the domain extension over here it means this this domain extension means that what will be followed what will come after this so this is the domain name okay and this is the domain extension now these things are different they are not the same they are not the same the extension is this this is the category the extension is org non operational business this is a commercial entity this is a commercial entity so these are the domain extensions so if i am selling excellent pizza then my domain name could be excellentpizza.com and if i am making pizza and delivering it to make people happy then it could be excellentpizza.org which is a non profit organization so there's lot of meaning there's lot of semantics in the name of the domain which you will buy and once you have uh, purchased that domain then you need to register your domain register your domain okay and you need to host your domain also that i will explain in the subsequent modules so once you have done this then you start with the end in your mind what is the purpose of your web presence you would like to make profit or you would plan to sell a product plan to sell a service or it is a combination so you have to keep all those things in mind and when i go into the details i will provide you a worksheet also in which we will categorically work out clearly identify elucidate explain and clarify that what will be covered when you decide about this step number 2 now i move to step number 3 pick your designer the step number 3 it means that what will be the combination of colors what will be the combination of fonts 
what would be the formatting what would be the logo that will go into your website because that website presents represents yourself your product your company yourself and then of course again i will present you when i go into the details a chart and in that chart we will clearly spell out what will be covered in creating that excellent presence which will appear and appeal to your customers so once you have decided about the color combination about the font about the formatting i will go into details in the subsequent slides then you have to find out and figure out which approach you are going to use so i was targeting considering i was placing you over here i think you should be over here you should be over here so you should be making a lot of money after taking this course after understanding what goes in and you have to become a professional web application developer that is the objective of this course that is why we are here and that is what i want to deliver to you